I'm Devin Shad. Let's go to Joseph. Without respect, a man cannot lead effectively. The man who respects not will not be respected. If a person of authority desires respect, he must give the one from whom he has received authority respect. And how? By obedience. Obedience is a matter of justice. It's what we owe God. Obey God, others will obey you. The scripture acclaims St. Joseph as the just man. The Hebrew word for just is zedek, which means righteous, following God's commands meticulously. Mary was pregnant without Joseph's cooperation, and to save Mary from being executed, Joseph could have disregarded God's law, or he could have assumed Mary committed adultery and exposed her to shame. But Joseph obeyed not himself, but God. Obedience in the Latin is ab adire, ab, toward, adire, to hear. Joseph turned toward God to listen to him. Listening presupposes obedience, and obedience is the fruit of listening. God says, sacrifice and holocaust I want not, but an open ear. That is, listen to God before thinking of offering him anything. God continues, disobedience is as devil worship. That is, being your own authority is imitation of the devil. After the first Adam awoke from his God-induced slumber, the Tardama, he received Eve, but he complied with his wife in an act of disobedience which unleashed hell upon humanity. St. Joseph, warned from his dilemma, falls asleep, a God-induced tardama. The angel commands him to take Mary, his wife, and Joseph awoke, but unlike Adam, he takes his wife and obeys God. Adam's disobedience cursed humanity. Joseph's obedience gave humanity its savior. Joseph obeyed and respected God, and because of this, Mary and Jesus obeyed and respected Joseph. Your destiny, your family, your descendants depend on two things you listening to God and obeying Him. Those who are faithful in little will be granted greater responsibilities. And translated, those who obey God are granted greater authority and respect. Ite ad Joseph.